This tutorial will show you how to register for my lab's product using something called standard integration. This means that there is a widget on the course homepage. This thing that you see from Pearson is the widget. Now you need two things before we even go further and even try to register. You have to have your email address. You're going to get some important information from your instructor. And secondly, the access code. This is required and it comes from your book that you purchased at the bookstore. Once you have those two things, let's go ahead and get registered. So on the course homepage, you're going to click on the link to your My Lab and Mastering uh, product and begin the registration process. So that's right here. There's going to be uh, a set of links in here under Course Tools. Click on any link. You're going to be prompted at this point on the next screen with the end user agreement. Go ahead and click I accept. Now at this point, you're prompted to either log in with your Pearson account or if you don't have one, go ahead and create one. Now, if you already have used another MyLabs product, you probably already have created one. So in this particular case, I happen to have an already have an account. If you don't, you click Create and you go through the process of creating it. Once you do that, I'm going to go ahead and sign in. And now you're prompted for the access code. If you've purchased the package with the access code from the bookstore, and I can go ahead and, and click on access code. One of the other things you can do is if you want to get 14 day free trial because you can't afford it and you want to get started with your product, you can go ahead and click on get temporary access. In my particular case, I happen to have an access code. So I'm going to go ahead and click on access code and type it in. So if I have the access code, I'm going to go ahead and click finish. At this point, it should go ahead and register me for the course. You'll see that it's processing your order and it may take a few minutes. Once it's done, I can click on go to my course. Now, the next time you come in and you click on the link here and click on any of the links here, it will automatically log you in to your course.